Okay, so I'm going to stir until I don't see any more of those uh, dye lumps. I'm going to press against the side. And of course I'm losing my light because I'm not working fast enough. if that was going to lighten it up but so let's put some more drops in there okay six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so now we got fifteen drops of the butterscotch and I have teak wood in case I want to make it a tad darker but I like this color that I'm getting now This is a nice light brown. I'm sure the camera's not showing you the correct color. This uh, right now looks like sand. So if sand is what you're going for, as far as the color, then you can stop now. If you have little baggies, I have some baggies, you can put uh, a little bit in a bag and go darker and darker and darker and just separate as you go into little baggies. But I already have this color, so I'm gonna go darker. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm counting my drops so I know, and then I'll mark where the glitter is. Now I want to get um, a little baggie and collect this color. When I'm done mixing it. This is still kind of sort of like a sandy color. A little more browner so we have 20 drops of the butterscotch and let me do three of this teak wood and see what we get I don't want to go too dark This is coming out nice.
the camera is showing so much of a different color than it is in person. Okay, I'm going to put about five more drops of the butterscotch because I know I can, um, I know I can get that dark with the, with the uh, butterscotch. Five, six, seven. So that's 27 now. 27 and what did I do? Three. Make sure you don't have any more clumps. You know, if you shake it, the clumps will come to the top. No more clumps. And this is still kind of uh, wet. You can see this um, more of a caramel color. So now I have a light brown. I see a clump. And maybe I go a little darker because this is what I want. Sometimes when I dry, 27, 20, 28, 29. 30, 31, 32, 32, let's just start with 32. It gets lighter as it dries because it's still kind of wet because there's the, uh, the alcohol in the ink is still active right now. That's why I have the other ones on the paper to dry out. Alcohol dries pretty fast, so it's, it, the, the, the ones in the kitchen should be dry now. All right. My daughter brought me some sand from Florida. Let me show you how big of a difference that color is. Um, really almost like a white sand <clears throat> but I'm gonna stop there for my light brown I don't want to get a baggie
I'm gonna lay it out, but I'm gonna fill this baggie up. I might have to put it on the paper to put it in here. see where we are. Okay. One, two, three, four. Nine. Ten total. Okay. And I'm hoping to go for a darker one. A darker brown. 